Hello, this is Chris from uh, MyCricketForum.com. We've already flashed this uh, Sprint Samsung Galaxy tablet over to Cricket, but we're just going to give you a quick uh, video of how uh, you do it. Um, really, you need to read along in the thread. Uh, we're not going to cover all the steps here, but it'll probably help you out to uh, watch the video. Uh, basically, when you're trying to flash a phone over to Cricket, you have to get the phone into a diagnostic mode. And the way we do it with this, um, install a program called AnyCut. It's available in the market. Go down, make a shortcut to an activity. An activity is called Phone Util. If you've flashed over Samsung phones before, you probably recognize this. It's also accessible usually from a dialer app. And uh, just dial in pound, pound, eight, seven, seven, eight, pound. But since we don't have a dialer app installed in this yet, we're just going to make a shortcut to it. Um, probably if you did find a, a phone APK or some sort of file like that in messaging, you could probably get uh, talk and text and internet and who knows, maybe even uh, MMS messaging working on this device. Uh, but we're just going to show you how to get the internet working in uh, 3G. So go phone util. Usually it's set to PDA by default on the bottom on the USB. Set it to modem. We follow the link to the Samsung drivers, or you've had uh, in Samsung Epic or Fascinate drivers installed on your computer. You're probably gonna have the, uh, or it's probably gonna work. Pretty much as long as you have Samsung Galaxy drivers, I believe it'll work. Um, here it installed it default port 45 and that's going to be too high for CDMA workshop so we'll just go into our device manager real quick find the modem go into the properties and under advanced you can find the advanced port settings here it says port 39 We'll just go down to port 15. It's going to give us a little warning. We're still going to do it anyways. We'll unplug it, plug it back in so it recognizes the change in ports. And I guess the next thing we'll do is go to CDMA Workshop. So we're going to connect to COM15 because that's what we changed it to. It says does not exist. Let's see here. Go back, check our device manager. On phone utility, you might want to make sure that both are set to modem. I had to go back and do that. Uh, let's set this to port 19. This is the Samsung Mobile Modem Diagnostic Serial Port. Again, I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. Change the port to 19 right here. Wait for the device to reappear. Connect. Connected to COM19 port successfully. Now we're going to go over to security. And you're not going to be able to read the SPC right off the bat. You need to go to the password. Uh, Samsung default. Send it. It's got to unlock the device and then your SPC will show up there. Um, ours was of course a bunch of different digits. What we did was we sent that 
right back to the device it unlocked and then we sent the correct or we zeroed it out and then sent that so our SPC was all zeros um, you'll close this out it'll ask you to do a mode reset if you want to do that you don't have to you can immediately go to uh, QPST make sure you add that port so that the device pops up and go ahead and read from phone if you change it to all zeros it'll be all zeros right there one thing we did notice is that we had a hard time getting this to work with our hybrid PRL. We just used the uh, latest PRL we had, which was 45513. It was from a Cricket Samsung Indulge, which is new um, at the time of this filming. Um, we put the phone numbers in there and just programmed it like a normal phone. Um, shows that 45513 PRL went over into MIP. Uh, we did simple IP only because with the simple and plus uh, mobile plus uh, simple uh, fallback it uh, gave us a login error just like you would get in the Evo. Changed all this to the phone number at mycricket.com that string is cricket that string is cricket also and we changed the next one also Next screen would be PPP config, the UM little button there. Again, phone number at mycricket.com, phone number at mycricket.com. Password is required, and you'll type in cricket right there. Then you'll go over to AN and then just enter it right there. And password's cricket, right to phone. If it doesn't work immediately after that on the 55 plan, what you'll want to go uh, do is go to www.whiterabbit.org go to the Android section and you're going to make uh, NV items for your phone number after you do that you go back into CDMA workshop uh, connect to the device go to security type in all zeros and send it and then go to memory and then write find those NV items that you just made from whiterabbit.org and send those uh, when it does shut down there you'll probably want to do the mode reset um, after that you have two choices any cut is a real bad choice for uh, just editing the proxy settings if you do that chances are you'll only get internet uh, you won't get the market if you do it the any cut uh, proxy setting method uh, if you do the U2NL and auto start method uh, that most likely will get you everything working uh, but to do that version you're gonna have to have the uh, tablet rooted we've included a link to super one click user uh, I think it's called super one click uh, root or something like that uh, the link is in the forum uh, that was what successfully rooted our device. After that, you can use like Root Explorer or the uh, ADB commands to put U2NL and auto start.sh and uh, install auto start.apk to get everything surfing through the proxy. So you can use it with a $45 plan. Um, what we used was actually Green K45 which is an app uh, one of our forum members made. Uh, at the time of this video, he hasn't released it to the public, but uh, soon that will be available with root access. That will set up the correct proxy settings, and you'll be able to surf on the $45 plan. Let's do a little speed test. Signal usually isn't too good in this uh, room that I'm filming in. begin the test. We're surfing through the proxy right now. Uh, you can see it thinks the closest uh, server is Wichita, Kansas, but we're actually uh, in Round Rock, Texas, which is close to Austin. 658 uh, down is what it's getting. 
and the upload side it kind of paused the ping was uh, 515 milliseconds but overall even on the um, $45 plan it's getting pretty good results this was our uh, IP address earlier we did the lookup That's our IP address right now. If you look up that IP address, you will find out that it is associated with Cricket Communications. So if this was my tablet, I probably would tinker around with it a little bit more, um, try to figure out if there's a, a phone app installed uh, natively on it, or if I was able to install a phone app and a messaging uh, app so I could actually get talking text. Because I know on the T-Mobile version, uh, especially in Europe, I just got back. Um, one girl was uh, using it as a normal phone with her Bluetooth. So there's probably a whole lot of things you can do with this tablet. Uh, for the full write-up on how to flash the Sprint Samsung Galaxy tablet to Cricket, uh, just go to www.mycricketforum.com, uh, sign up, become a member, uh, leave a comment. And I apologize, it's uh, really late, and I haven't gotten much sleep for the last three weeks. So, sorry if this was uh, hard to bear. Anyways, like I said, go to www.mycricketforum.com for the full write-up.